Hello, this is Daniel, please. My name is Daniel and welcome to yet another Minecraft video in which we're gonna be installing Forge and Optifine together so you can actually use Forge and shaders in Minecraft 1.16.4. That's right, like I said, in this video, we're gonna be installing both Forge and Optifine for Minecraft 1.16.4. Now in a previous video, I showed you how to install Optifine and shaders for 1.16.4, but obviously some people actually want to use both Forge and Optifine together for Minecraft 1.16.4. So here it is, a tutorial on how to do that. Before we get into it, if you're into videos like these about shaders, mods, texture packs, you name it, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. Also be sure to check out my Instagram page if you're into builds in Minecraft. And on top of that, we also have our own Minecraft server, which is play.danielplays.net. Use the IP address in the description down below or on the screen right now to join our server. So first things first, we're going to be installing Forge as per usual. To do that, either use the links down below in the description or just do a quick Google search for Forge. I already have the page up here because I visit that page a lot. So what you're gonna wanna do is come over to this menu right here and click 1.16.4. Then make sure to click the installer right there. This will redirect you to an ad page where you have to wait five seconds and then a skip button appears that you can click to proceed to the download just like that. Now, because I'm using Chrome and this is a .jar file, Chrome will actually give you this warning where it says, do you want to keep or discard this file? Of course, click keep here if you've actually used the links that I put in the description. Now I'm gonna drag this over to the desktop real quick to make it easier to find. Now for most people, it will have this coffee cup icon, which is a Java icon. If you're not sure how to actually open this and if it doesn't work, um, the normal way then first of all try right clicking this go into open with and then find Java platform se binary If that's not there What you're gonna want to do is come over to the description where I put a link to Jarfix or you can do a quick Google search for Jarfix Use the top link right here and then right about here It should say jarfix.exe you just click that and it will download a very small file called jarfix.exe You click that you'll be prompted with a yes no choice where you click yes and then after that, it should say the .jar suffix has been registered successfully. If it tells you to download something, the download link in the actual app will not work. What you're gonna wanna do is use the download link down below in the description where I actually link to the correct Java page. There'll be a huge red download button right there that you just need to click. You need to download a program, install it, and then you'll actually have Java. After that, you wanna run Jarfix again. So just go over here again, click yes again, and then it should say that the .jar suffix has successfully been registered. Now you can come back to your installer. What you're gonna wanna do is just open it. It should show you this installer. Make sure you have install client selected here and just click okay. This will take a few seconds up to about a minute, I would say. And after this is completed, as we can see, it will say successfully installed client profile forge for version 1.16.4. So that's perfect. Now the next thing we need to do is actually download Optifine for 1.16.4. So once again, use the download link down below in the description or just search for Optifine in Google. Once you're over on this website right here, optifine.net, go over to downloads right here. And then you will see Minecraft 1.16.4. You just click this download button or click the mirror button, but I like to support the creator of Optifine. So I'm gonna click download right here. This will redirect you to yet another ad page just like this, where you have to wait five seconds and then a skip button will appear just like that. Now what I like to do is actually open up a new tab because this download link will actually redirect you to yet another ad page. So just click this or click download, they both work, and then close this tab because it will usually redirect you to another ad page and you can prevent that from happening. Once again, you will be prompted with this choice to keep it or discard it and of course you want to keep that file. Now this time, you don't need to click the Optifine file, you just need to drag it over to your desktop. Now we can actually load Forge into Minecraft 1.16.4 and then install Optifine. So just open your Minecraft launcher, make sure the profile Forge is selected right here. If it's not there, go over to installations and find it there. As you can see from the previous installation or the previous tutorial that I did, I installed Optifine uh, separately, but in this one, we're actually gonna be installing Forge with Optifine. So you wanna launch the Forge profile, not the Optifine one. 
if you already have that. So if you actually follow the steps correctly, you will now see a mods button right here in the main menu and in the bottom left corner, it will say Forge, some version and Minecraft 1.16.4. That means you have successfully installed Forge for Minecraft 1.16.4. Now to install Optify, we're just gonna be treating it like any other mod. You go into this mods menu right here and click open mods folder in the bottom left corner. Then a folder will open up, which should be an empty folder. But of course, if you already have Forge installed, and you already have other mods installed for Minecraft 1.16.4, then this won't be empty. But for me, it is empty because of course I just installed Forge. Now what you're gonna wanna do is actually just drag in Optifine as simple as that. So now you can actually close this window and come back into Minecraft. It will not be there because it has not been loaded up on startup yet. Click quit game, launch Minecraft, with Forge again. So once again, make sure to actually launch the Forge profile right here. And now if we actually get back into Minecraft, we should now see Optifine. As you can see, we're back in Minecraft 1.60.4 with Forge. If you now go over to Options, Video Settings right here, you should see some new settings such as shaders, details, animations, and stuff like that. To actually be sure you've successfully installed Optifine, take a look at the bottom left corner where it should say Optifine and then the version of Optifine that you just installed. Now you can go over to Shaders, for example, select the shaders that you would like to use. I'm going to try BSL this time. Click Done, Done again, and Done again. And now if you actually hop into a world, you should see that you can now use Forge with mods and Optifine with shaders. So I just hopped onto my own Minecraft server. It's play.danielplace.net. The IP address will also be down in the description. As you can see, we are now playing Minecraft Forge for 1.16.4 with Optifine 1.16.4 because obviously we are using shaders. I really hope this video helps you out in installing Forge and Optifine for Minecraft 1.16.4. If it actually did, be sure to let me know down below in the comments. Be sure to leave a like if it actually helped. And if you want to see more of these kind of videos, which of course you do, then be sure to hit that big red subscribe button and hit the bell notification right next to it. And then of course, I will as always, catch you in the next one. See ya!